Welcome into this presentation of Minor League Baseball from the AA Texas League. Tonight we get the week started with the first of four between the Amarillo Sod Poodles and the Frisco Rough Riders. Settling in now, Devon Castillo. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. The 1-1. One, one. Still shirt sleeve weather tonight. 78 degrees here at game time. And a good pitch there as this is swung on and missed for the first out of the ball game. Next will be the designated hitter, Rudy Heron. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Count even at two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. This is foul right side. The bouncer to the left side. And there are two away now. So striding forward now, Luis Camposano. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Mine to the right side. And that's in there, so perhaps some life here with two men out. The center field to the plate now, Franchi Cordero. Not quick Cordero. enough that time, and he's lucky to get another chance. Count remains full. Payoff pitch one more time. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Digging in now, Alfonso Cairo. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Swing and a liner. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Batting the designated hitter, Yoni. Stepping in now, Yoni Hernandez. Swinging a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is going to get foul. Now the three and two pitch. The bouncer to the left side. And he won't even think about second as he'll flip on to first for the shoe route. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Buck. And he could give his guys an early lead if he can come through here. Swing and a liner. Foul. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Andretti Cordero. A couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Cordero. Fastball hit on the ground is short. Right to him. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. New inning set to get underway. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Kyle Overstreet. There's a ball low. He misses with a changeup. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. And that misses for ball four. So it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Now at the plate, Esteban Quiroz. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. 
down the third baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. The one two. Whoa, that's High in the air out to center field. Martinez will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now in the box, Hudson Potts. He'll get to take his first cuts here. 3 2 pitch. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. Standing in, Taylor Colway. Taylor Colway. The 1 1 home. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. And oh, a big rip at the curveball, but he didn't get it, and he becomes the second casualty of the inning. At the plate, Colin Moore. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. The set and the 1 1. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Two on, two out with the base open here as a pitcher. You have to be awful careful. You just don't want to groove something here and give this guy a pitch and he can hit one out of the park on. And another foul ball. Ready with the payoff pitch. Hit the other way out toward right field. And this is going to get down for extra bases as that'll get one, if not both of them, home. And the second run will score as that makes it a 2 nothing ball game. Now back. Second base. Yvonne. Into the Castillo. box now. Yvonne Castillo. And this pitch is popped straight up right around the home plate area. And he'll reach over his head to make the play. And a sparkling play it was to end the inning. So stepping in, Sam Huff. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Hit hard down the left field line. But this will be foul. The 2-2. Two -two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Stepping into the box, Ryan Doro. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. And he takes a cold strike, too. One out, nobody on. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Coming to the plate now, Eliezer Alvarez. He did his part yesterday afternoon as he cashed in with three hits in the losing effort. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Now at the plate, Rudy Harone as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And he lays off there, ball four. So the leadoff man is on here to begin inning number three. So digging in now, Luis Camposano, a base hit in his first trip. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Skied into straightaway right. Buck will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So a runner on first with one out now. And in the hit next, it'll be Franchi Cordero. Back up the middle. And that'll just elude his outstretched glove for a base hit.
the first base, number three, Kyle Overstreet. At the plate, Kyle Overstreet. This is line to left. Cairo is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. Ready now, Esteban Kiro. Two on, two out for him here in the third. Kiro. Now the one and one pitch. Misses for the second ball. And he misses low here, so the count goes to three and one. You fight so hard to get into these type of counts. You can't let this pitch get away from you. You have to keyhole something middle of the plate. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Lifted in the air to straightaway left. Cairo will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. of the third now and next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Julio Pablo Martinez this is hit the other way out toward left field Moore will wait on it and he's got it for the first out digging in Josh Morgan as he'll get his first opportunity in this one Morgan into his motion here comes the three and one and he takes ball four so a good job out of the nine hole and getting on base as we go back to the top of the order number 32 digging in Alfonso Cairo he reached on a single in his first try yeah guys still the only hit in this game so far they've been pretty well shut down guys on the mound have really much controlled the whole outcome up until this point The designated hitter, Yoni. So now to the plate, Yoni Hernandez. Line drive to left, and that's in there. Base hit. And to score, the runner from second. The right fielder, number 33, Anthony Buck. In now, Anthony Buck. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. And he'll put this one away in foul territory for the second out. So striding in, Andrei Cordero, as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Now a ball pulled hard but fouled off to the left. Here's the one two. And he fouls this one off. The set and the one two. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And nearly a three-run shot. Instead, it's a foul ball. Hit high and deep out to left center field. Center fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Blake now, Sam Huff. Bullet back up the middle. Cordero is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Hudson Potts. He drew a walk his first time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. But quick reactions at the hot corner take away a hit, and there's one gone. The right fielder, number 50. Digging in, Taylor, Taylor. Colway comes into Colway. this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. The 3-1. 
lifted in the air to center field. Long run for the center fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Digging in for his now second at bat. Colin Moore stands in here after doubling home two in his first at bat. Here's the one and one delivery. Tough pitch to lay off there, but he did, and it's even up at two and two. Now a curveball misses inside. Having a hard time putting this hitter away here, and when I was looking at the tape on him from his last start, this is what I saw a lot of. He's not closing the door on guys, and, and he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Plate, Ryan Doro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Hit in the air out to center field. Cordero is right there, one down. Digging in to try it again, Eliezer Alvarez. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. 1 1. Strike two swinging. Hits this one hard the other way. Reined in. And there's out number two. Stepping in, Julio Pablo Martinez. He flew out in his last at bat. And with his speed, he's one of those rare guys who you'd actually like to see keep the ball on the ground. You can't beat out a fly ball in this game. One ball and two strikes to count. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And that'll bring in the second baseman, Yvonne Castillo. A ball and two strikes now. One and two. High in the air out towards shallow right. Buck is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Striding forward now is the DH, Rudy Hirono. It was a walk in his last trip. Here's the one and two delivery. Sent on the ground out to second. Scooped up. And that's the second out. So coming to the plate, Luis Camposano. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Ready to deal. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Hit on the ground to short. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and stepping up as the shortstop, Josh Morgan. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Two and two. Here now the two two. Okay. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. And that misses ball four now. It's a leadoff walk to get the home half of the fifth underway. Cairo. Now the one and one pitch. Ground ball sent back up the middle. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. So base is empty now after the double play. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Yoni Hernandez. 1-1. One, one. 
Hey, this is a huge at bat right here. This pitcher wants to end this inning and have three, four, five do up to start the next inning. Fouled off. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Yohander Mendez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. For the Rough Riders, number 74. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Franchi Cordero. And this one's up around the eyes, two and one. Oh, strike two as he locks him up there. The two two. Fouled away. Into the windup. Here comes the two two pitch. A bouncer up the middle. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. The first Ready for another shot three. now. Kyle Overstreet. Kyle. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Now the 2 1. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike two. We're in the sixth inning now of a 4 to 2 ball game. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. Riding in, Esteban Quiros. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3 and 1. 3 1 count, tie run on the on deck circle. You have to be very careful right here to make a quality pitch on 3 and 1. 3 and 2, full count. Rounded back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Jordan Guerrero enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Jordan Guerrero. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Anthony Buck, his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory. Yeah, we used to have a saying right here you would stride to the plate for this AB trying to chop wood. Not in today's game. You just want to get your bat plane on the same path number of the ball. Four, Can't continue to swing under, under those elevated heaters. Even now, two and two. And he comes back with one down and in for ball three. Sam Huff waits on deck. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. There's one on to first, and they get them both. Ready once again, Sam Huff. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ball game. Fastball taken inside for a ball. Two and one now. Into right field. That's a base hit. Stepping in now, Ryan Borum skied into straightaway right. Colway will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. At the plate, Hudson Potts, 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Belted high in the air out to left. Left fielder looking up, still going back. 
gone to lead off the inning. Into the box, Taylor Colway. That one finds the target on the outer half. It's one and two. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here he comes again, one, two. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. On the ground to the right side, scooped up. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Now back Stepping in, Colin Moore. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. So 1 1. Is laid off for ball two. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Into his motion, here comes the three and one. Popped up. Cordero is over now and he's got it for route number two. So the lineup now flips that, over and digging that, in, Devon Castillo. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. The 2 1 home. That's ball three. Rudy Heron would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Great job there of cashing in on the three and one count to extend the inning. Jimmy Herget takes the mound now and it appears he's being brought in to face the right handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Pitch out, nothing doing. Castillo is off of first with two away. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. And it's a foul ball. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Brady Feigl gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Bottom of the inning now, and set to go is the second baseman, Eliezer Alvarez. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Ani pops it up. And that'll get down for a base hit. So that puts the leadoff man aboard to get the inning underway. Now back, center fielder, Julio Pablo. At the plate, Julio Pablo, Pablo Martinez. Nope. Two balls and a strike. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's ball three. Wow, was he looking to swing the bat right there. Check pitch on a swing. That ball wasn't even close to the zone. Yeah. And the good fastball there finds the zone as the count goes full now. Three and two. Left side, but well foul. We're in the seventh inning now of a 4-3 ball game. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. In now, Josh Morgan. It was a walk in his last trip. Throw over the first. Runner back safely. Runner at first here, one man out. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. There's a look over to first, and he's back standing. And 
a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. So the batting order turns over now and set to go Alfonso Cairo. The 1 1. He is taken for strike two. Two out with the man at first. And a pitch down that swung on and sent to second base. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth. And next to hit is the catcher, Luis Camposano. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. A little too tall that time. Three and one now. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. If it's in your zone, I want you swinging. This is line to left. Cairo is right there as he puts it away. No problem for the first down. And that'll bring up Franchi Cordero. Thank you, Cordero. Took him right up the ladder that time, and it's one and two. Kurgit has a strong chance of being an all-star this year. He's currently leading the vote totals among relief pitchers. Hey, let's give a round of applause to the fans for voting this guy first at his position right now. He is not what comes to mind when you think all-star, but you know what? Check the numbers right now in the first half. He has been a dominant player. This is well-deserved. Now a ball hit in the air to straightaway left. This is carrying well out of here. Into the box now, Esteban Quiroz changed up on him here, and this is grounded to short. Throw, and he's called out on a close play at first. Standing in, Hudson Potts comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Elliot Ashbeck is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Elliot Ashbeck. Yoni Hernandez will be the first one to greet him here as he'll be forced to turn around and hit from the left side now. Now the one and one pitch. Hit back up the middle. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. So now to the plate, Anthony Buck. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Line toward the gap in left center in for a base hit make it a one for three game so far and they keep rolling here their runners at the corners with still nobody out at the plate now Andretti Cordero that nibbled the corner there but missed two and one everything this guy throws it moves and that two seamer has a mind of its own Hit on the ground out to short. He's right there. The second for one. And the tag gets him. But they are able to tie it up late here as a run scored on the play. Now batting. Riding in once again, Sam Huff. Last time through was a base hit. From the windup, the 1-1. One, one. Going to need to make a little bit of an adjustment with a slider release and at least tempt the hitter that it's going to be a strike. Fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. Into the windup. The 2 2 pitch. Three ball, two strike. Hit down the third baseline. 
but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. A shot down the first baseline, but this is foul. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down, and the inning is over. Demarcus Evans will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. Into the box now, Taylor Colway. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1. Misses down below the knee. Swing and a miss, strike two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Now back. Stepping in now, Colin Moore. Moore. Unable to find the zone with the slider. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. Well struck, but foul over by the coaching box. Now a flare out toward right center. Right fielder coming on, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. And now they'll have runners at the corners to start off the inning. Now that second base, Yvonne. Into the box, Yvonne Castillo. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And the run is going to score from third as they've taken the lead here in the ninth. Now that designated hitter, Rudy Harone. At the plate, Rudy Harone. Hit well, right side. And that's through into right field for a base hit. And they're content to play station to station here as the bases are loaded now, now with still nobody out. Blake Bass is summoned in the toughest situation a reliever can face. Bases loaded, nobody out. To the plate now, Luis Camposano. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. Swing and a little blooper to center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. It's now an 8-5 to five game. The center field, number 33. Thank you. Into the box now, Cordero. Franchi Cordero. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. A little late on the fastball, but he's able to spoil that one off, and he'll get another chance. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now at the plate, Kyle Overstreet. And he's coming off a two-run homer his last time around. The two-two. Three runs already home here. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Stepping into the box, Esteban Quiroz, the and their runners at the corners now. The 1-1. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen, and this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible out. Threw it right past him, a swing and a miss at the gas, and that ends the inning. J.C. Cosme takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Now batting, Ryan Doro. The 3-2 pitch. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Another full count pitch home. 
And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first out. How about it? Digging in and looking for more, Eliezer Alvarez. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. This is line to left. Moore is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Now to the plate, Julio Pablo Martinez. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs, so a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them, like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. Eight to five tonight. The Amarillo Sod Poodles came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Elliot Ashbeck claims the win out of the pen, his first. J.C. Cosmic wraps it up for the save, his tenth. So that just about does it. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way on over to theshownation.com. Fans are final line score. First for the victorious visiting team, Abrams on 11 hit. No error if they left seven men on base. For the Rough Riders, five runs, eight hits, one error. They left three men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 37 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely. Thank you.